Hi, I'm Ansley, and I'm an Applications Engineer at HANA Instruments. Today I'd like to go over the basics of electrolytic conductivity, and then demonstrate examples of non-conductive and conductive solutions. Conductivity is the ability of a material to conduct an electrical current across a specific distance. Therefore, it's measured in Siemens per centimeter. Electrolytic conductivity is the conductivity of a solution in which the transport of an electrical current relies on the presence of ions. Salt water is an ionic solution. Salt, or sodium chloride, dissolves readily in water and dissociates into sodium and chloride ions. Each of these ions has an electrical charge. Sodium has a positive charge and chloride has a negative charge. The presence of these positively and negatively charged ions allows for the conductance of a current in solution. Today we're going to demonstrate the conductivity of three solutions. First, we'll measure distilled water. Then I'll add sugar and then we'll add salt. What do you think will happen to the conductivity? Let's find out. To aid in my demonstration, I will be using the HANA Instruments HI2550 benchtop meter. This meter has automatic and manual temperature compensation, as well as the ability to auto range from 0 to 500 millisiemens per centimeter. So let's measure the conductivity of a 300 milliliter sample of purified water. As you can see, the conductivity is 0 0.79 microsiemens per centimeter. This is a very low number. It is not quite zero because despite being put through a purification process, it still has some impurities present. Let's move on to see how adding sugar will affect the reading. We will be adding a tablespoon of sugar and stirring until it is dissolved. As you can see, the reading only increased 4.05 microsiemens per centimeter. Now let's look at what adding salt does to our conductivity reading. I'm going to add just a pinch of salt to this 300 milliliter sample of water. Look at how much the conductivity increased. It went from 4.84 microsiemens per centimeter to 151.0 microsiemens per centimeter with just a pinch of salt added. That's just over a 3,000% increase. Why did adding so much sugar have such a small effect on the conductivity when adding just a few grains of salt increased it by so much? Sugar is made up of sucrose, which is a molecule that is composed of 12 carbon, 22 hydrogen, and 11 oxygen atoms that do not dissociate into positively and negatively charged particles. This means that sugar is a non-ionic substance and is unable to conduct an electrical charge. Salt, or sodium chloride, does dissociate into sodium and chloride ions. These ions allow for the solution to be conductive. The more salt that is added to a solution, the greater its ability to conduct electricity. I hope that these demonstrations helped with your understanding of electrolytic conductivity and its dependence on the presence of ions. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at hannainst.com. Thank you.